Hi hey guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter five, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started on number two. So it is a multi-step problem, okay? Each one of these guys are, okay? So a carpenter has a wooden stick that is 84 centimeters long. She cuts 25% from the end of the stick. That's your first part, okay? So 84 centimeters takes off 25%. Cuts the remaining stick into six equal pieces. What's the length of each piece? Okay. Now, whatever it is, it's going to be in centimeters because that's in centimeters. Okay. But let's find out. Okay. Multi-step problem. So first we need 25% of, which is 0.25% of, of means multiply 84. So I put that right here. Okay. So five times four, 20. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42. Okay, I'm going to go tick, tack, toe. 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 8 is 16. Add 0, 10, carry 1, 11, carry 1, 2. So go into for the 1, 2 places, that's 21. So now I'm going to take the 24, or sorry, the 84 that we started with, and I'm going to take off that 21 centimeters, okay? That's how much she took off the end to begin with, okay? So now I'm going to have 3 and 6. Well, 63 goes in the box now, okay? So because she cut it into 6 equal pieces, we're going to divide this by 6 to find the length, okay? 6 is going to go into 6 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract 0, definitely smaller than 3. So now I can bring down my three, okay? Well, six isn't going to go into three. I need to put a zero, then I can put a decimal and put a zero, okay? Now six will go into 30 five times. Five times six is 30, subtract, get zero. So each length is going to be 10.5 centimeters. Show your work, guys. It's important, okay? All right. All right. So, number three. Okay. Mike has $136 to spend at an amusement park. He spends 25% of that money on his ticket into the park. How much does he have left to spend? So, we are going to do 136, and I'm going to turn my 25% into a decimal, and we're going to multiply it to find out how much he spent, okay? Then we're gonna take that $136 and take away how much he spent, and that will be how much he has left, okay? Multi-step problem, okay? Five times six, 30, carry our three. Five times three is 15, plus three more is 18, carry a one. Five times one is five, plus one is six, okay? Tick, tack, toe, two times six, 12. Carry one, two times three is six, plus one is seven, and two times one is two. Okay, add them up. Zero, 10, carry the one, 14, carry a one, three. So go in one, two places, one, two places. He spent $34 getting into the park. Okay, I don't need to put the decimal zero, zero. Okay, so six minus four, two, three minus three is zero, and one, bring it down. He has $102 left. The dollar sign is your word label for this one, okay? Write down your work, guys. Okay, pause it, remind it, do whatever you need to do. Write down your work, okay? Now, on the next three, I'm going to help you set them up, but then you're going to do them, okay? I know these are a little bit confusing to set up sometimes, so we're going to go ahead and, and do that part together, okay? A car dealership has 240 cars in the parking lot. And 17.5% of them are red. Of the other six colors in the lot, each color has the same number of cars. One of the colors is black. How many black cars are in the lot? Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna have 17. Actually, 
we're going to do, we're going to turn that directly into a decimal and put 0.175. Okay, because we moved the decimal over twice. Okay, times 240 cars. Okay, now that's how many of the cars are red. Okay, so then we need to take the 240 cars and subtract what you got there. Okay, last step, guys promise okay then we're going to take your answer to this put it in the box okay and it says of the other six colors one of those is black so if we divide it by six your answer here goes in the box okay okay your answer here goes in the box Whatever your answer is up here, that's going to be your answer for here, and that will be black art. Okay, so this is how you set up number four. Okay, multiplication. This is going to go here. Okay. All right, that's how you set it up. Three steps. Don't forget a step. And don't forget to label. Okay? All right. Now, number five. Number five says the utilities bill from Miller's Home in April was $132. 42% of that bill was for gas. The rest was for electricity. How much did the Millers pay for gas and how much did they pay for electricity? So, Hundred and thirty two dollars times point four two for gas. Okay. The other was spent for electricity. Okay. So one hundred percent minus forty two percent is going to be fifty eight percent. Okay. So then This is for electricity. Okay? So, gas, electric. Fill those answers in right there. Okay? All right. Last one on this side, guys. Okay? Andy's total bill for lunch was $20. The cost of the drink was 15% of the total bill. The rest of the cost was the food. What percent of the total bill did Andy's food cost and what was the cost of his food? Okay. So, if it was 15% for just the drink, okay, the percent, okay, you have 100%, you take away 15%, okay? That leaves you 85%, okay? So, 85%, so decimal, 0.85, of $20. And don't forget, you can take off the zero and put it on the end. Okay. Of $20, that will get you the cost of his food. Okay. What percent was the total bill did Andy's food cost? Well, that's going to be your 85 Okay, food was 85%. Okay, now what's the cost of his food? Do that math. Okay, whatever it is, your label is going to have that dollar sign. Okay, so pause it, do whatever you need to do to make that work. Okay, show your work, guys. Okay, all right, we're going to go over to the back. You guys are going to set up and do the lesson check on your own. You can totally do it. I believe in you. Okay. Now, we are going to go and do the spiral review. And this says, what is the absolute value of negative 4 over 25? Well, boom, boom, 4 over 25. 
absolute value is just the number without a sign. Okay, super easy. Don't make it harder than it's got to be. Okay. Ricardo graphed a point by starting the origin and moving five units to the left and then two units up. Ordered pair for the point he graphed. Five units to the left, well, going left means negative. Five units to the left, two units up. Up means positive. There you go. Okay. The population of birds in a sanctuary increases at a steady rate. The graph of the population over the over time, has the points 1, 105, and 3, 115. Name another point on the graph. Okay, so that's the Sorry, I got into all of my scrap paper down here instead of just one. Okay, so if we had a graph, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 is 105. 3 is 315. So you could fill out the one for 2. Let's fill out the one for 4, though. So all that means is that I'm going to take the 4 and I'm going to multiply it by 105. Because for each 1, there's 105. Okay? So 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2. 4 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 420. So 4. 420. Okay? That could be one of them. You can do six times. Okay? You can do, okay, so we can do 105 times 5. Okay? 25, 2, and 5. So we could say 5, 525. Okay? We could do 105 times 6. Okay? Okay, so we could say 6 and 630, okay? You can do anything along those lines, okay? Just follow the pattern, okay? All right, Alicia's MP3 player contains 1,260 songs. Given that 35% of the songs are rock songs and 20% of the songs are rap songs, how many of the songs are other types of songs, okay? So, all right, let's do the math. So... 35 and 20, add those up, that's 55%, okay? Well, if we have 100% and we take away 55%, we're going to have 45 left over. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Okay, so now we have 1,260 songs and 45% of them, which is 0.45, right? And we multiply, okay? So, 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 6, 30. Carry that 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Tick, tack, toe. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 6, 24. Carry our 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Carry our 1. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So, when we add them up, we get 0, 0, 7, 6, 5, and I have to go in 1, 2 times, 1, 2 times. That means 567 songs. Okay? Write down your work. It's important. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 5.5. Come on back for 5.6. See you soon.